Auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim Living with the glorious Quran we are still discussing verse number 55 uh wa id qala Allah ya Isa inni mutawaffika when Allah spoke to Jesus Christ and said I'm about to gather thee and raise thee to myself inni mutawaffika wa rafi'uka ilayya وَجَعِلُ الَّذِينَ تَبَعُوكَ فَوْقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ And I shall make those who follow you above those who blaspheme until the day of resurrection. But the first sentence in the, in the verse, إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ وَرَافِعُكَ إِلَيَّ وَمُطَّهِرُكَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا That I will clear you of all the falsehood of those who blaspheme whatever they say about you that is a blasphemy we would clear you of those sayings of theirs and i will make you and i will make those who follow you above those who reject you and i shall make those who follow you above those who reject faith until the day of resurrection the question is who are the followers of isa alayhi salam the scholars said those who follow him are those who believe that he was the servant and messenger of Allah. His followers are classified into three according to, to the scholars. Those who said God was with us and has tarried for as long as he desired. Another group are those who said the son of Allah was with us and Allah took him to himself. And the third group are those who said the servant and messenger of Allah was with us and Allah took him up to himself. Therefore, according to this analysis, the third group is the group with this belief that Isa alayhi salam was Allah's servant and messenger. The followers of this group and this faith are of the opinion that he was Allah's servant. They believe in his prophethood, in his messengerhood. They believe that Jesus Christ was a miracle in his person, a miracle in his conception a miracle in his birth, a miracle in his ascension, a miracle when he would return to the world, as we have seen in a number of traditions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam believe in that. I will make those who follow you superior and above those who reject faith in you until the day of resurrection those who reject faith in the verse refer to the yahud who purposed to kill him and to crucify him then unto me will be your return and i shall judge between you concerning those things wherein you used to differ. فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فَوَعَذِّبَهُمْ عَذَابًا شَدِيدًا فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ وَمَا لَهُمْ مِنْ نَاصِرِينَ This is verse number 56 of Ali Imran. As for those who disbelieve, I shall chastise them with a heavy chastisement. In this world and in the hereafter, and they will have none to help them. وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ فَيُوَفِّيهِمْ أُجُورَهُمْ 
Wallahu la yuhibbu zalimin. As for those who believe and do good works, Allah will pay them their wages in full. He will give them ample payment for what they have done. Allah does not love wrongdoers. Now look at verse number 57 and verse number 55. We have explained in one of the sessions the position of scholars regarding mutawafika. What is the meaning of mutawafika? We have stated about three positions, one of which is we gather you completely, body and soul, and raise thee to to myself Allah said so in case you do not understand that meaning look at verse number 57 for you will fee him ujurahum he would give them their reward or their wages in full you will fee him inni mutawafika is is one word so it means wholly it means completely so we shall take Jesus Christ, if I may go back to verse number 55, because of the, the same word that appears in verse number 57 in Allah Imran, completely, wholly, with your body and soul. Allah will give them ample payment, complete and full, their reward, because of their belief in Him. So that is the word mutawafika, as we have seen in verse number 57, uh, to take Jesus Christ completely and wholly. ذَلِكَ نَدْلُهُ عَلَيْكَ مِنَ الْآيَاتِ وَالذِّكْرِ الْحَكِيمِ is verse number 58. This which we recite unto thee is a revelation and a wise reminder, referring to all that we have heard, all that we have seen in the segment living with the glorious quran especially in this in this year's program 2023 everything that the narratives that came through revelation you were not with them O messenger of allah you did not know this but it's part of the revelation that allah has sent unto you and with the order that you would convey such messages unto the people so the lesson today has been on the followers of isa alayhi salam who are the followers and who are referred to in the verses that we have read today they are the ones that have recognized him as a messenger of god and his servant they do not deify him and they have accepted him as a miracle in all its ramification from conception to his second return when we meet again inshallah we shall we shall discuss more on the second coming of jesus christ living with the glorious quran assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh